Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only, Thrifty Gamer 83 here. Today, just doing a quick play of Need for Speed Carbon on the PlayStation 3. Need for Speed Carbon is a great title to have in the PlayStation 3 collection, as well as a top-notch racing game. It's something that I've missed since the days of having a GameCube and having Need for Speed Underground. As a gamer, I must say, racing games never really appeal to me because at times they take themselves too seriously. They don't really deliver a fun little storyline. They don't really have a lot of tweaks. And I'm talking about games like Gran Turismo, which, while fun, were just nerve-wracking to get into the depth and content, the contrast of the games, the styling of the games. You're getting yourself into a large scale, fundamental, time consuming behemoth of a game. With games like Carbon, you can set it up how you really want to set it up. The challenges are quick, ferocious, and fun. You challenge rival factions and you just plain have a good deal of fun with them. Carbon is something which has, although a deep system, you can just have fun with for a few minutes here and there, modifying the car, setting it up, doing quick races here and there, or as I said before, just plain having fun with the police AI and having an all-around APB on yourself, which is something you wouldn't do realistically or in real life, but in a game like Carbon, which doesn't take itself too seriously, it's fun to do. It's something which is a game I've been looking for for a while to get back into the racing genre, to really just look at a title with a lot of promise and a lot of promises kept but not getting further away from being 100% serious. It's fun to race around. It's fun to crash people out. It's fun to build up the little uh, the little cost to state and really I love the controls. The controls are nice and tight and the storyline is just something which you know honestly could take a back seat. I'm probably going to delve more and more into the story mode as I play the game but really I was just looking for something like Carbon just to be that nice little time waster. That nice title unlike Gran Turismo where I don't have to invest hundreds of hours into it, I can just have fun straight from the get-go with Carbon. It's nice, the controls are tight, the visuals are amazing, although as I said before, the storyline is kind of secondary to me. I'm just someone who wants to go out and race, and I found that was missing in the racing genre for a little while, but I'm glad to see that Carbon brought it back. It's not too serious on itself. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's largely just a title that you will come back again and again and, and again to enjoy because of the lighthearted aspects of the game, because it doesn't take itself too seriously, because it has some characters who are just walking, talking punchlines to jokes. I like that. I like the fact that it doesn't take itself too seriously. I like the fact that it has humor in the main storyline. I like the fact that you can just avoid the main storyline, just have fun, crash people out, have rival challenges, and when you look at something like that, the fluid dynamics <laughs> give you a lot of control of how you want to play a game 
like carbon. It gives you a lot of control of how you want to auto sculpt your car. As I said before, I could probably spend hours in auto sculpt mode in different modes and tricking out the car and ride. And really, it's a great title to enjoy. All right, folks, rant, rave, love, hate, click that subscribe button. You're keeping my show on the air. Have a good one.